What's up, fellas? Back with another episode of 2K16. My career will be taking on the San Antonio Spurs it's this episode. Show. Last episode, we were playing the Suns, and we finally got to play in the fourth quarter. Even it was only the last 40 seconds, but we shot every single shot, and we missed every single one of them. And we ended up losing. It was really upsetting, to say the least. So, try and bounce back. Beat San Antonio. In San Antonio, we're going to try and get it done. See what we can do, though. What sets him apart, Kenny? Well, he's patient. You know, that's the difference. Well, he keeps these games and seasons in perspective. He looks at the big picture, not the small picture. And he's adaptable. Adaptability is one of the hardest things for a coach to do because sometimes they get set in there. All right, let's go. I'm try and get this game done. Finally win a game. I'm trying to see what we can do. Still trying to work our way into that starting lineup. It's our end goal. Right now, we're trying to help our team to get on a win streak, though, while we're trying to get there. Got Tony Parker right here. You know, up by two, they're putting me in with about three minutes to go. Mills in for Mono Genova. New Orleans also making some changes. Omer Asher, he's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Anderson comes in for Quincy Pondexter. And Freak subbed in for Drew Holiday. So for New Orleans right now, Davis and Ashik in the middle. Freak is out there with Tyreek Evans. And it's Anderson in at the small four. They've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, and it's already got them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. And that one's good. Freak. There we go. Missed that first three-pointer, came back, we hit that shot. And pretty solid. We just got to get a little bit better on defense. Now here's Parker. He's covered closely. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You always get blown by on defense. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Yeah, guys, they can feel very good about themselves when you bring up those statistics. Impressive numbers. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for New Orleans. Here's Freak. Pans the shot. There you go. Perfect shot right there, baby. That's what I like to see. Just love watching him operate inside. It's Parker with the drive. We've got 155 left in the first quarter of the game. A shot's good from Aldrich. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Here's Freak. Again, Another perfect one. Let's go, baby. It's Parker with the drive. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, but they didn't roll over in that game. Had a good chance still to pull out the victory. Just couldn't come through. And crunch when Perfect still hit it, though. What are you talking about, dude? Can't guard me. Kind of empty consolation prizes. A loss is a loss. Up and in on the layup. Parker's got his second bucket of the night. You know, guys, I would call that methodical, but explosive. You know, he waits for the opportunity, and then boom, right to the rack. Parker with the steal. In transition. Ah, dang it. San Antonio. Turnover. Good. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. Mm, so, Steve. To clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. And that one's good, Freak. Nice job there to shake free of the deep. Let's go. We got 10 points right there. Finally got the accolade. Score 10 points in the game. Even though we've done that before. It's Parker with the drive. West with a wide open look. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot. Right where it needed to be. About seven. Trying to go two for one, maybe. Here's Freak. Another one falls for New Orleans. Ooh, let's go. Six consecutive field goals made. That's what you like to see. Oh, 
It's stolen by Davis. And here we go. Freak heading to the hoop. Throws down the... Let's go, baby. And that's how you make a steal count. It. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. Let's go, it's baby. Much like Greg creating havoc out there. Up by six points after the first quarter. We were having a great game so far. Seven straight, seven consecutive field goals made to start the game off. And... 14 points. The games are my solace. I enjoy playing the games. I enjoy the competition. I enjoy the chess match. I enjoy the physical play. I enjoy that part of it. So uh, being on the floor, being able to compete at that level, and knowing that I won't able, ever be able to compete on that level uh, once I'm done with this, that drives me, in, and I love that part of it. Well, Duncan breaking down his one for the game, and so we got Danny Green, and we blew the entire lead. We're now down by one. That's all right, because I'm in now, baby. Eight consecutive field goals made. That's 16 points. Sweet little floater. Parker's got the lead up to one now for the Spurs. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Ashik with a screen on Parker. The ball. Stick it to the Here's Cole. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He dishes it to Ash. Clock at four. Here's Freak. Misses off the right iron. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but um, rebound what the hell Norris Cole's doing, dude? He's dribbling it around. Find the opportunities to give me the ball, down. and he didn't want to pass it to me. Whatever. West outside. Here's Leonard. The shot is off, and New Orleans will come the other way. 129 left to play here in the half. Here's Freak. It drops. That's his ninth field Let's go goal. straight on top of the key, baby. Nine for 11. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Parker up top. He's got eight. There's the triple. Leonard, no luck. New Orleans has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Evan gets that one to fall. There we go. His first two. One for three for three point lead now. Good aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Diaw sets the pick for Leonard. And it's Leonard again missing. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for. There we go. He's got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense. Makes I ain't getting the ball when Cole's out here. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oh, here's Freak, headed by Green, and it's Freak oh. missing. And you really thought that was going to be a game. That is a little bit too long. Yeah, and a little self-talk, angry self-talk for himself after that miss. And Parker, here we go. Makes it off the glass. God damn it. Got four points this quarter. That's terrible, dude. It has to be airtight, guys. you got to get into his airspace. And that was far from it. Cole. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. And the Pelicans four point lead going into half. Got 18 points, got two rebounds, and we're up by four at halftime. I don't like playing with Norris Cole on the floor, though. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of the... Uh, let's see what's happening. Patrick Mills 
It's a tie game. Three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Daniel Green. He's checked in for Mono Ginobili. And it's Mills in for Parker. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Omer Ash, he's checked in for... Should have made that shot. Slow it down a little bit more next time we should get it. And Freak subbed in for Drew Holiday. Defense of Mike Green and Leonard are the wings. West is out there with Cole Aldridge. And it's Mills in at the point guard position. That's the San Antonio... Oh, my gosh. For the rebound, but he gets nailed with the open back call. And, Greg, you know I was an offensive rebounder in my day. And um, I like that kind of aggressive play. But he's got to do a little better job of trying to get position earlier in that case. That, that's a good point. You, you, positioning is so vital when you're trying to rebound the basketball. And that's something that wasn't on display on that possession. Here's Green. It's rebounded by New Orleans. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Here's Freak. Hit it. Oh my god, we got cold out of nowhere, dude. Can't hit anything. Outside Leonard. Green, the screen. And here's Mills for three. And he gets Oh my god, and they're hitting everything, bro. Five point game. Get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up. For him. Let's go, baby. Three-point game. We got 20. The accolades score 20 points in a game. I know we've done that before as well. Kicks to Aldrich. Shoots from 14. The shot misses. So the Pelicans. Let's go, Gordon. Let's go, Gordon. And pushing it up. On Dexter. Oh. Well, you gotta hit two. Gotta hit these, dude. First one snuck in. And the Spurs with some changes. DL comes in for Cole. Here we go. Down by one, baby. Uh, we just gotta play defense. And Parker, here we go. Take it on here at numbers. Dodge, dude. Season. Last season, he averaged 15 points a game, nine rebounds. And I always get blown by. It doesn't matter who it is. And, you know, defenses are throwing everything at him, Sid, yet he's still able to put up points. He's really unstoppable. Tremendous output from Parker. He has 11 points and some assists, too. How about three of them? And that one's Did it. Let's go, baby. It's tie game. Didn't hesitate for a second. As soon as the crossover threw his man off balance, he rose up in rhythm to knock down the jump. Nobody near Parker. It's good from about Fudge, dude. Parker's got 13. Come on. Great move there. That spin just dusted off the defense. There's Freak. The shot, no good. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. If you enjoy comebacks, Kevin, then this was a great one to watch. But they were on the losing end of the stick. They never were able to recover after that horrible, dismal third quarter. Yeah, uh, really a tale of two halves. I mean, they were brilliant in that first half, focused. But the complacency sets in, and then that second half, they got home. I mean, bottom line, you can ill afford to take your foot off the gas if you want to have success. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw. five-point game. As aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. San Antonio making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Alexis Ajinsa. Let's go, baby. Three-point game. Spurs leading by three. Parker with it. He's got 13. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one's on Eric Gordon. No question. 35 points. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. So it's a narrow. And didn't play in the fourth quarter again. And. With a dramatic late victory. And Kevin. We won by two. Wow. Surprising. 
Still don't get why they don't play me in the fourth quarter. It's so whatever. Well. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. I'll see you in the next episode, fellas. Barely pulled out this. Got 24 points this game. Still didn't play in the fourth quarter. But we'll do some the endorsements. Oh, let's go, baby. Got Jordan player to game, bro. Yeah. Let's go. Honest student growing up. And tonight, that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. His play off the bench was critical in getting them back into the win column. Their last game didn't go as well for them, but he helped them get on track. He provided a spark, he had energy, toughness, everything you need to get that momentum going. And that wraps things up. Folks. Heck Thank yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Kevin Harlan and the rest of the two First Jordan player of the game Robert award, Johnson. baby. Let's go. We got it against the Spurs. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hit advance on this. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Play it right again, bruh. Let's go. So we got to do this Spalding or her. And then we'll be playing the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn in the next episode. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bring great content to this channel daily. And... I'll see you guys in the next episode when we take on the Brooklyn Nets, baby. Let's go.